Ooh. 13 bucks, not bad. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Getting gas real quick. No, I don't want a receipt. Don't remind me of this purchase. Ooh. Alrighty then, what's up you guys? So, today, I wanted to do a little review video of the ZX6R because I'm just at 25,000 miles right now so I have pretty extensive knowledge on this bike and experience with it and I figure you know it's a perfect time to go over what I like about it what I don't like about it and to be honest there's not much that I don't like what's up brother there's not much that I don't like about this bike so yeah, this is a 2017 Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R. As you guys know, you've seen it on the channel before. And yeah, this is a really, really great bike. This is the first motorcycle I ever bought. And ironically, this is also the first, the very first sport bike I ever rode. And that's got kind of a funny story behind it as well. So when I bought this motorcycle, I bought it brand new. It had two miles on it when I bought it. I bought it in Arizona when I was living out there. And it was only one month after I had completed my MSF course. My MSF course was my very first time riding a motorcycle ever. Never rode dirt bikes or anything like that. I was on a Honda Rebel 250 in my class for the weekend. And I was kind of just at a point where I had watched I had wanted a motorcycle so for so long, you guys. Nice little alley right here. I was just at a point where I had watched so many videos about riding motorcycles and so many different moto vloggers that by the time I did my MSF course, I basically already knew how to ride a bike. And so I breezed through it. It was like one weekend. And a month later, I had the opportunity to go pick this baby up. And so I did. I went and bought it, brand new, no experience. And riding it home from the dealership for the very first time was one of the most nervous, or the most nerve wracking things I've ever done. I just, I still remember the feeling of like taking it out and kind of giving it a little bit of throttle in first gear for the first time. And just being like, dude, this is crazy. And of course now I'm used to it. I've ridden 1000s before. I have a bunch of experience on 1000 CC bikes. So, you know, this is kind of nothing to me now, but just thinking about that moment where I was taking it home for the very first time is like surreal. I wish I could have that feeling again of riding my first sport bike for the very first time. Let me know if you guys agree down in the comments, but it's just a feeling like no other. That was almost five years ago. Now I'm at 25,000 miles and dang, kind of a cutie in the Audi. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Um, now, yeah, I'm at 25K and I honestly, I genuinely have no actual complaints about this bike. My one complaint is that there is no fuel indicator. The only thing I get is the light that comes on. And I think I have like maybe 20 or 30 miles or so when the light comes on. So yeah, that, that genuinely is my only complaint about it. Everything else is great. So let's go into some good things about the bike. Now, the first good thing is this is a 636 model. Should I get on the highway? No. <laughs> um, this is a 636. So it's got just a little bit more power than your regular 600 over your R6 or like a CBR 600. And the power is a little better distributed in the mid range because of the extra CCs. Sick Bronco. No doors this is a perfect day for one of those things. <laughs> so bumpy right here, what the hell? Also, I've noticed on the R6, at least that's the only other 600 I've really been on is the R6. All the other bikes I've rode are 1000s. On the R6, for instance, the seat height or at least the handlebars in relation to the seat is a little more aggressive and I, I honestly don't really think I can flat foot an R6 if I remember correctly and this thing I'm five foot nine 
and I can flat foot it easily, no problem. And the riding position honestly is very comfortable. I'm not super hunched over aggressive. If I want to, of course, I can tuck down and do the thing, but you know, when I'm just riding around, I can cruise one hand chilling. On an R6, I definitely get sore after riding way faster. Like, if I can ride this thing for an hour and a half without stopping, I could maybe ride an R6 for like 45 minutes and my knees start hurting and I gotta pull over. Obviously, I've done a little bit of stuff to this bike. <coughs> a little bit. Let's go this way. Anytime I'm not wearing my boots, it's like so hard for me to shift gears. Yeah, I'm not wearing my boots right now. We got the Yeezys on. Sorry guys. I know, bad example. Now, of course, you know, this bike is not a 1000. It's not the fastest bike in the world, but it's definitely enough. And I would say that with absolute confidence, this is a great starter bike for anybody that is responsible and at least knows what they're getting themselves into. If you're an absolute beginner and you're like somebody that's scared to even get on a motorcycle at all, maybe don't start with a 600cc. But if you wanna start on a 600 sport bike and you don't know which one you wanna get, I would say the ZX6R is, is perfect. Let me pull over here so I can show you guys what we're working with. There she is in all her glory. Yeah, this this is a great starter bike, guys. Um, I I genuinely could not imagine starting on a 200. I um, in a sorry, a 250 or a 300. It definitely took some getting used to. I wasn't out there ripping it the way that I do now when I first bought it. But you know, if you guys are somebody that has self-control, you're patient, you're able to go through the learning process. Uh, so another thing that helped is, of course, I had the break-in period, 600 miles when I first bought it. So that really helped me uh, dial it back and, you know, take it easy for those first 600 miles and really get a feel for the bike and everything. Even back then, though, I definitely wasn't as comfortable as I am now, of course. I mean, my recommendation for anybody that asks me, like, hey, what's a good bike to start on? What, what motorcycle would you recommend for a first bike? You know, I, I would have full confidence telling somebody to go get a ZX6R. Like, this bike overall is just absolutely amazing. I've had it literally from... Zero, basically zero miles up until 25,000. The bike has given me absolutely no issues, even after crashing it. You know, of course I went and got it checked out and I, I rebuilt it, but even after all of that, it still runs absolutely flawless. And I've had zero issues. I've never had to bring it into the shop for anything. Um, yeah, it's just great. Other than routine services, oil changes, things like that. Um, yeah, I've never had an issue with this bike. I just wanted to pull over quick and show you guys the bike in case this is your first time seeing it. Now, one thing I do want to get your guys' opinion on in this video is if I end up getting a new fairing kit, which there's a very high likelihood of that happening because genuinely this one is actually starting to fall apart. I'm not joking. <laughs> If there is a new fairing kit that I get on the bike, oh no, this gate's not going to open. Oh wow, it opened. That is like a first ever. Back to what I was saying, if there is a fairing kit that I decide to get on this bike, man, what a view right there. Six flags in the back, that's sick. I keep getting distracted. If there is a fairing kit that I decide to get on this bike, what color should I go with? I. Honestly, I really do like the black. And if this fairing kit wasn't a piece of shit, I would probably keep it. However, it's just kind of time for something new. So, what should I do? Should I should I just get another black satin black kit and just replace it? 
do you guys like the black or should I go something custom hit up monster fairings get something custom get some sick graphics or I don't know what should we do and if I do what color should I get green I mean it's got a lot of green on already so obviously I'm gonna incorporate some type of green if I get a custom kit I really like the black look if I were to go away from black it would be to just go like full color with it I would do like all green or something maybe even repaint the gas tank um, yeah I don't know I, and that's part of the reason why I haven't done it as well it's definitely time for a change and I need your guys' help and you know what sucks too is I've only had the bike like this for less than a year and a half I rebuilt it with all the black and everything repainted the tank I did all of that in February of last year and I'm already having to replace it a big part of that is because of the carbon fiber the fitment is just awful it's breaking a lot of the pins that hold the fairings in have just snapped off over time um, because of the quality of the carbon and you know that's kind of what you get sometimes I just got unlucky so I'm definitely not mad about it but it is what it is that's pretty much all I got for today's video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to subscribe for more I'm definitely getting more consistent on YouTube this year I'm gonna be putting out videos hopefully weekly I'm not gonna commit to anything because I hate letting you guys down so if you enjoyed just subscribe and turn on the notifications so you guys see the next one make sure to like the video and we'll see you next time peace